For the past few weeks, Jonathan Knudsen has been introducing us to the changing faces of agriculture in the Midwest. On this week's final installment, he talks to Teresa Gilley, a farm wife who was forced to take over the operation when her husband died by suicide. Women are playing a more diverse role in agriculture. Usually it's because they want to, but sometimes it's because they have to. Teresa Gilley has to. You learn to live with the grief and how you deal with it. Went through my anger and now I'm not, ang I'm not angry with Keith anymore. Teresa Gilley was a crucial part of her family farm for more than 30 years. But on April 1st, 2017, her husband Keith took his own life over financial worries. And we'd lost, I'd say, a good half a million dollars in two years. And we still have debts to service, so how, how much of this do you want to continue to do? Teresa says Keith had many skills that could have brought him a good job off the farm, but all he wanted to do was be a farmer. He really didn't think he could physically do anything else. He would be just embarrassed that he was no longer farming, that it was, you know, it's just like, no, we're just, and, and we weren't going to, we weren't going to go through bankruptcy. That was not ever going to be the case. In the aftermath, Teresa had to make many decisions, including what to do with the farm. She chose to keep farming with the help of two neighbors. I've got a lot of sweat equity and, uh, investment. I've given my life to this farm and it belongs to me and I love where I live and I have a lot of love right here. Gilly is a past president of the Minnesota Soybean Growers Association and a current Kitson County Commissioner. She has a strong support system that she relies on. Just be there. Give a call. Just mm -hmm. There's too many people that say, well, if you need something, give me a call. Be that person that calls without having to be asked. Near Hallock, Minnesota, this is Jonathan Knudsen for Ag Week. Jonathan will have more on this story in the upcoming Ag Week magazine.